Hey everyone, today I wanted to share with you my ultimate road trip survival kit. In other words, my beauty, fashion, and packing tips and tricks to help you on your next long haul road trip. I recently traveled to the Ifugao Mountain Province here in the Philippines to see the famous Ifugao rice terraces. I spent a total of five days traveling across the region, and these are a few things I did to ensure I had calm skin, a comfortable and organized trip, and of course, an adventure to remember. So, let's get started. When I travel for a long period of time, I tend to find that my skin gets stressed with the changing temperatures, environments, and just general lack of rest. A way to keep your skin calm and your hair manageable during a road trip is to prepare your own kit that is able to address a variety of beauty dilemmas along with your skin woes such as oiliness, dryness, or breakouts on the go. My skincare kit consists of only six items. This first item is a must in every handbag, especially for travel. A good packet of face wipes will go a long way. A multi-purpose balm is a great addition to any skincare kit. Use it as a facial moisturizer, for removing your makeup, for chap lips, dry skin, and even on the ends of your hair when they need a bit of moisture. Depending on your skin type, it's great to bring along your remedy product for your skin, whether it's blemish cream for breakouts, moisturizer for dry skin, or even SPF for sensitive skin. This next item is technically a hygiene item, but it is a must for travel. A good deodorant will have you feeling clean and fresh throughout the long drive. During road trips, hardly anyone has time to style their hair, or maybe they're just lazy like I am. Find a product like this one that instantly defrizzes hair and smoothens it in a snap. No brainer, a dry shampoo is a must on a road trip. If you find yourself having greasy roots or even want to lengthen the life of your hairstyle for another day, just spritz some of this stuff into your roots and you're good to go. being refreshed and looking awake and just having a really healthy glow. As a base to start, I'm going in with my Tarte BB Cream Tinted Primer and this has an SPF of 30. And then to get rid of any dark circles or blemishes, I'm going in sparingly with my concealer and then blending out with my ring finger. I really love this foundation because it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything and that's really important for me when I'm traveling. And at this point, I want to put a bit of color in my cheeks. So this is a blush by MAC called Margin. It just gives this beautiful glow. And then for my eyes, I wanted to keep it very simple and just use mascara. And I just put a few sweeping coats of the Maybelline Hyper Curl Mascara onto my lashes to just really hold them into place. And then for brows, super natural. I just wanted to fill in a little bit of the gaps in my brows. And then to hold my brows in place, I just used Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel. Finally, for my lips, I wanted something that would stay for a long time, but also would have a moisturizing formula. This is a very similar color to my natural lip color, and that's why I chose it. That's pretty much all you need when you're traveling, is to trick everyone to thinking that you woke up like this. But really, you just had a little help. Also, the products I use for this look easily fit into this little bag, which makes it super practical to take with you whenever you travel, especially on road trips. Let's talk about outfits. This is the outfit I wore when I drove on the first day for nine hours straight. So it's revolving around layers and that's because from traveling from a warm climate to a cool one, I wanted an outfit that could adjust with the temperature. So what I did, I stuck with a monochromatic palette and just accented with a few colors, such as blue and red. carry bag because I would be weighed and probably not let on the damn plane. <laughs> this is my main bag. This is the bag that has everything that I could possibly need during my road trip to keep boredom at bay, which is pretty much what you're trying to do when you're in the car for nine hours straight. This is the Kate Spade bag. It is beautiful navy and red color, which I think are classic colors. And I chose it because of its size. So the first thing is my skin hair body kit and you 
guys have seen already what's going to here. Next up is my little makeup bag. It has everything I need to recreate the glowing and refreshed makeup look. Of course, hairbrush, pair of sunnies. These are just by Farron and Gus, and I gotta love a good cat eye. My wallet, can't buy any snacks along the way if you don't have it, so don't forget. Now this baby right here has saved my life a couple of times and I've learned the hard way that I need it. It is a document wallet and what I'll do is I'll print all my confirmation receipts, like things for tickets, accommodation. You don't want to find yourself traveling somewhere all the way and then you go turn up to your accommodation and they can't find your booking. It is a nightmare. So what I do is I store it in here so they don't get crumpled and they're safely kept. When I travel, I like to fill my time with reading books. This is a book I'm reading right now, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. I like to bring with me my iPad. It just has a couple of games and also a couple of apps such as Audible, um, which is a nice alternative if you do like me get a bit dizzy when you're reading on the car, you're able to get your reading done just by listening to the audiobook. Moving right along with techie stuff. This is my little techie bag. I love capturing moments and photos. So of course I have my Instax mini camera. I just have an ordinary pair of earphones that are in a complete mess. I know there's hacks to like use a clip and stuff, but I'm iPhone charger cord. Now I pair this with a little car charger. Instead of bringing a power bank, I just bring my car charger and I plug it into my car and then I'm able to charge it to two devices. So this is my GoPro. I love bringing it everywhere with me because I am a huge adventure junkie. I love doing hikes and I love doing outdoorsy things. So it's always great to bring a camera like this but it's sturdy and it's okay to be banged up a little bit. So with this, I bring a three-way a three-way tripod um, and it just extends like that. I have to bring a charger and some spare batteries. For another little beauty thing, for another beauty thing, I have a Laura Mercier almond coconut milk hand cream. And of course, two absolute necessities whenever you travel, wherever you go, wet wipes and alka gel. And finally, my phone. My phone goes with me everywhere. Of course, on road trips, I stack up with apps, especially navigation apps. So I'll load up all my favorite music and make sure that it's all loaded up before I go so that during the whole trip, I have enough music to play throughout nine hours and not have to listen to the same thing over and over again. So that's it in my bag. Along from this bag, I'll also pack a cooler with some snacks because I think it's also cost effective and also if you are trying to eat a bit better. So what I'll do, I'll pack a cooler and I'll also pack a few extra things to make my ride super comfortable. And that's it guys for my road trip survival kit. I hope you guys got some tips. I have been traveling so much this year and I really am making an effort to really travel more and more. So I'm also learning as I go along. So if you guys have any recommendations or tips of your own, please do share them with me. I'd love to hear about them. And I'm sure there'd be others who read the comments who would love to know them too. So let's help each other out to have humongous adventures in the year 2016. And until my next one, I'll see you guys later. Bye.